Okay, I got invited to take a tour at the Candlekeep Fortress. Let's go check it out. They landed me an elytra to use for the tour, which is very exciting. Wow. It's massive. Oh, that's cool. That's so detailed, like, thing. Whoa. This is crazy. What? <laughs> this is insane. Cute. I love this so much. And just to show you guys how insane this build truly is, I used Replay Mod to get this beautiful cinematic. So here we are in the uh, community area. And there's so many cute and adorable little houses everywhere, but we don't have one yet. So far, me and Prism, all we have is this little pile of chests. This is literally our home. <laughs> so today, we're going to start by building a little cottage. Or something like that. Goblin cave? Let's get to building. So, I don't really have, like, a set plan design. I normally like to build with everything already pre-designed and creative, but... I'm just gonna kind of have at it and see what I can come up with. Okay, we're making progress. It's starting to look like the very rough outlines of a cave. So I'm just going to keep on expanding it. I think I'll go in this direction and start carving out a larger space. And then over time I'm gonna decorate it and detail it. We're well on our way to making our goblin cave. Y'all wanna know how rich I am? I have this raw iron. I don't even need it. Okay, so I've made some progress. This is what I got so far. Very minimal detailing. And here we got this like landing room. Over here we got a small storage room. Very rough, so kind of ignore that. Or here I have a very big room. That's very much more fancy. This is where we're going to put like the beds, an enchanting table, and maybe some bookshelves. Or, you know, just a kind of living area. I have this plan to make this place look as rough and as natural as possible. You see, most of the time when I see people do caves, it's like, okay, here, go into a hole in the ground, and then bam. And all of a sudden you're in a, like a normal building where every single room is made of a square or rectangle. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking instead to make a more organic feel. Like here where it dips and over here where like it's shaped kind of like a sphere. And over here, even here where the fanciest room I have so far where the walls are really ridged in interesting ways. I want to make like something that feels kind of chaotic as though it was a naturally generated cave, an actual cave system. Okay, so I've made a lot of progress on our house. It's looking really good, but yeah, once you go in though, that's where the disaster starts. You see, the problem is I designed this in creative and I designed it at a high Y level, but when I actually started building, I built way down here on this Y level. So you can see there's like, it's like four blocks too high of an entrance. So what I've decided to do is I love my cave idea and I don't want to move everything up four blocks. So I'm going to have like a facade house up here at the top and then just have a drop down to get us down to the real base. So that means that I'm just going to continue building and yeah, we'll just make a cute little house here. Is this... A deserted island sos with bones no <laughs> rip finnegan cat nova's final days no they left a note a journal day one stranded on this island a detour on the way to the goblin kingdom day two i caught some ocean junk and made a shelter i hope someone finds us day three overnight the phantoms crashed into finnegan i tried all i could to save him I laid him to rest on the beach day four thought i heard finnegan's ghostly meow but it was just an echo of my madness or was it day five is there anybody out there day six I'm Nova. I used to be a goblin of great ideas. I wish one of those ideas had been how to learn how to swim. I might just try to grab a dolphin today and hold on. Well, that is epic. Just wanted to say thank you so much, Nova. I appreciate it. After the island expedition, I returned home and worked with Nova to start aging some copper for current and future builds. Alright, I think we are done with our house now. I added some beautiful roses and cleaned up the chest behind the house. And so check out the inside. Well, to be fair, I haven't done anything at all with the first floor. I did get this lovely gift over here from Nova of a beautiful honeycomb dispensary. So really appreciate that. That's from me. 
All right, I think we are done at the moment with the cave. This little path right here is still kind of wonk. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the front of the house forward by a few blocks. So let's pretend that we just come in the house where I want it to come in. And we just come right down through here and we come in here. And it's just beautiful and like full of lush greenery. And I got a beautiful storage system here. It's very small, but I really don't foresee us needing too much of a storage system because this is the kingdom is ending in about a month. And then over here, we got a little goblin pool of goo and stuff. Get some more plants and over here. Oh, definitely my favorite room so far. And so yeah, that's our cottage. We now have a home. We're no longer homeless. So it's been a really productive day. Next episode, we're gonna get serious about prepping for war. There's a lot to do so that we can prepare to defend our kingdom. But yeah, all of that will have to wait until next episode. For now, I'm going to close this video with a nice overhead shot. It's owned by Lil Geek. I've been helping them design and build it and it's coming along quite nicely. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it, leave a comment and a like, and I will see you next week. Thank you.